it's time for the big teams to come out to play in the Carabao Cup and uh, unfortunately for Newport County of Wales um, <laughs> looks to be a bit of a foregone conclusion for them because they will be taking on the might of Manchester United in the form they're in in all competitions at the moment only dropping the two points uh, in the Premier League and winning all the rest it could be a bit of an ask for them Alexander Isak is uh, going to be making his Manchester United debut on after signing for deadline day from Borussia Dortmund for £4.4 million. He's been causing quite the stir uh, considering his size and being Swedish. You can do the maths. Uh, people are calling him the rising of Satan Ibrahimovic version 2. And to have a look at the rest of the team, Vieira will start in goal with Tontebe Jones and Maguire today. Uh, Hamilton is with him with Lingard, Piera and Alex Hunter in the midfield. And uh, Alexander Isak actually has another uh, kind of debutante in the form of Joshua, Joshua de Bawai, I think that is. And he'll be making his first ever United start in this competition. Uh, the team for Newport and Clouty, Day is in goal with Pippi, Franks, or it is Pippi, uh, with Franks, De Montoro and O'Brien. Uh, midfield, it looks like Butler with Noland and Crofts in there. Uh, that certainly is the... Actually, it's a... It's three man with Cross, Sheeran and Dolan and Matt and From it looks like up top Thank to try and get a goal here. Well, it doesn't really matter who's in goal for Manchester United because Joel Piero has had a good start to the season. David De Gea obviously making the bench. No need to really play your strongest squad in this kind of matchup. But what do you call a weak squad when you look at Manchester United? They're all on fire. And, uh, well, Alexander Isak and uh, Joshua Bowie are pretty much the unknowns up top. But um, I don't think we're going to have much problems in terms of goals. And if, if Greg Pavlovich does feel like he's not really getting anywhere in terms of the scoring, then he can always throw on Marcus Rashford, who makes the bench today. So no matter what you do and how you dress it up, Newport are in for a pretty long evening. Um, but... I think under the there is obviously a new format now. We'll go straight to parties if there is a draw in this competition now. No replays anymore. That is the kind of change to the Carabao Cup format. So expect some penalty shootouts. This is Lingard riding with challenge and putting in the box. And Buai has taken the shot. Why not? And it finds Alex Hunter. Ethan Hamilton, of all people, is going to take up a shot. Why not? Well, that would have been some strike. Another young Scottish lad, much like Scott McTominay. And that one has gone wide. Space here for Ammon, perhaps. Uh, doesn't really make much out of it, though. Well, next to the Premier League for Manchester United will be a match against West Ham at the London Stadium. Hunter's gone chasing that one. Good lad. And Spurs have taken the lead against Sheffield United. And guess who? It's Harry Kane that has scored for them. No surprise there. And then God is offside. Newport making it probably a bit too easy for United thus far. And here they come again. Hunter. And Borway is there. And it was Alexander Isak with a volley towards his first Manchester United goal and unfortunately it went wide wasn't far off though and that is the beauty of Greg Partridge football here at Manchester United isn't it Hunter Isak playing in ball wide and in comes Aaron Henwood oh he's been denied by the goalkeeper and Pierre I think that was in time for a corner Oh, he kept that in well, didn't he, Piero? And he took on the shot immediately. Good defending by the new four county captain. I think the new county captain was actually applauding his effort of his defender. Piero with the corner. And well cleared away. And there is the half-time whistle. It's been all united in this first half, all except for a goal. You have to credit Newpoint County for sticking it out, but I think sooner or later 
It's going to come down the wall and uh, Man United are going to score. They came very clo much closest with Alexander Isak on the verge of his uh, first United goal on his debut. But it wasn't to be. It was just wide. It's been all United, but the score is 0-0. Way by Twanzebe. And then we threw himself in front of that volley and Joe Pierre had to get there, didn't he? The speed was slowing down. I think it came off Aaron Henwood. He took the slip off it. Let's have a look. Aaron Henwood threw himself in front of it. I don't know if he even got there. Joe Pierre, good save. Had to make it. Newport County corner. Cross takes it. And straight at Pierre again. They have to feel that Greg Parfitt will turn to his secret weapon, Marcus Rashford, at some point in this match. It's a frantic tackle, and Pipe might be lucky not to go into the book here, because that's purely out of retaliation. He's off. David Pippi is off, and that's probably a little harsh, but maybe the right decision as well. He had a mist of rent descend over his eyes when Andreas Piera uh, got the ball off him. He retaliated. And that is what he gets. That is just deserves for Newport County's captain. And that is a very lack of discipline by the man who's supposed to leave from the front. And Newport might really pay for that now. Because now they're a man down. Moment of madness from David Pippi. What an absolute calamity that is. Pure retaliation that he didn't need to do. And here come United with Buai out to Alex Hunter. And he's scuffed in. Well, it's all kicking off here. Red card by Newport County. They've just made a very tough task that much harder. And, uh, well, that was not needed from David Pippi. He should have done much better there. Could be David Pippi. My apologies for that. But, wow. Absolute no apologies given from the referee on that red card. Straight red. And I think he would have been lucky not to go into the book, but wow. Uh, Manchester United making a substitute as well. Uh, Marcus Rashford is uh, coming on for Joshua Buai here, so that's the end of his game. Just makes it look easy, Joel Pierre, at the moment, doesn't he? And one of the Newport players is on the deck. Oh, Manchester United playing through. Alex Hunter, great defending, to be honest. Here's Lingard. And now, Newport wearing a bit thin. Lingard into Rashford, he's off the post. And Isak is in, and it's all happening. Oh, oh my, Rashford off the post. Can you believe it? Manchester United just hugely unlucky at the moment. Goal. At Huddersfield and Ramadan Sobey has equalized for Huddersfield against Chelsea. A valiant effort from Huddersfield there. After Edin Dzeko had given them the lead, Ramadan Sobey out of nowhere has uh, given them, given Huddersfield a lifeline. And we'll go straight to penalties under the new format. Oh, it's a beautiful ball. Marcus Rashford. Oh, and the goalkeeper's kept him out. What a good save by the keeper, to be fair, though. Or did Marcus Rashford scuff that, maybe? And the referee says he completely scuffed it, and it's a goal kick. That is, um... That's very unlike Marcus Rashford, to be honest. Cross. And Wilmot. Oh, he's put it in! Oh, it gets the run of play. Newport County have scored. And you can see the Manchester United boost before the goal went in because United were getting a bit loose with it. Well, this is, this is actually great movement by the substitute, to be fair. That's a very good goal. But, uh, I'll, like, I'm not really sure that is. Walmart, I think it is. Robbie Walmart, the substitute, it certainly is. And uh, Newport County, well, they could be on the verge of a big scalp here. And, uh, wow, with 10 minutes to go as well, Manchester United could be staring at the exit door. 
Maybe they got a bit complacent. Maybe. But, uh, and that'll be uh, one of their worst performances under Greg Parfridge, if that's the case. And we thought Sevilla might have been bad in the Champions League, but at Europeans Elite, this is probably a League 2 side to a degree. And now they're on the verge of a famous victory at Old Trafford. And it's not the first time this has happened. Remember Milton Keynes Dons a few seasons ago under Lee Van Hall in this very competition as well. Looks like Greg Parfridge could be heading the same way. There's Rashford. Well, not if Marcus Rashford has anything to do about it. Decides not to shoot. Amazingly, it's come out to Isak. He's missed it. Oh, my goodness. The shooting boots are not on Manchester United today. Alexander Isak has missed that. Oh, my. What on earth is going on? That is... That is incredible. Well, how many times can Manchester United miss? Here's Isak. Again, <laughs> United just cannot get anywhere. They're just not having the luck of the green today. They're a man up too. Hunter. And time is running out. Hunter. Alex Hunter. So many chances that they've created, especially in the second half. And hitting the post, going just wide. It has not been their day, that's for sure. But Newport County take nothing away from them. They're on the verge of a famous win. Here's Hisak. And another save by the keeper. No matter how hard United push, they cannot score here. It is unprecedented from a Greg Parfitch side. Hunter, he's tapped it forward, he's found, I think it's Isak, and Isak had decided not to shoot and try to cross it in towards Hunter and he couldn't make it. Newport County, a famous victory tonight as they progressed in the Carroll Cup against Manchester United. What happened to the strike force that has scored so many goals this season? So many missed chances they should have put away. And Robbie Wilmot, the substitute, was able to put it in past Joel Piera. And what a valiant effort considering they went down to 10 men as well. A famous win for Newport tonight as they go through past Manchester United who looked like one of the favourites to win the competition. Shocks personified tonight. Newport County have won the game. United nil. Newport County won, and with 10 men of that as well. Alright, so let's have a look at the full classification of round 3 scores and what that means for the round 4 draw. Sheffield United, unfortunately, no real surprises uh, as they lost to Spurs by 2 goals to nil. Sheffield Wednesday, meanwhile, beat Barnsley by 3 goals to nil, and obviously the big shock of the round, Newport County beating Premier League Manchester United, who look like favourites for the uh, for the Carabao Cup going in. Fulham 3, Aston Villa 0 at Craven Cottage. Probably no real surprise there, unfortunately, for Villa. West Brom 0 at Cardiff City 2. No real surprise there with a Championship versus Premier League side. In the All-Premier League tie, or one of them at least, Liverpool lost 2-1 to Watford, so Anfield... Will not be uh, featuring any more Carabao Cup football for the rest of the season. Oldham Athletic uh, winning 5 4 on penalties after a 1 0 draw against Crystal Palace. So that's another Premier League scalp gone. Um, same cannot be said for Chelsea, however, although their Huddersfield made it tough for them, didn't they? A 1 0 draw in regulation and due to the new format of the Carabao Cup, Chelsea won 5 4 on penalties. Burnley won by 3 goals to nil against Rochdale. And uh, the other side of Manchester had it tough against Brighton as well. But ultimately, Manchester City won 5-4 on penalties after a one-all draw in regulation time. Birmingham City have knocked out West Premier League West Ham. So another uh, big Premier League scalp has gone. As well as Leicester City and Newcastle United, which was an all-Premier League tie anyway. But Newcastle have progressed 5-4 on penalties after a two-all draw there. And the final scores for round three, Everton no surprises winning 2-0 against Rotherham United. Unai Emery's season seems to have got going again 
and he wins 2-1-0 uh, against Yeovil Town. There was a one all draw at Swansea City against Leeds United, and then Leeds United won 4-3 on penalties. And in the final score today, with another penalty shootout, Bournemouth are knocked out after a one all draw in regulation, and then Grinsby progressing 4-3 on penalties. So a lot of penalty shootouts, and a lot of Premier League teams gone already. That means for round four that Grimsby will take on Oldham Athletic, Everton take on Watford in an old Premier League tie, Leeds United will entertain Burnley at Allen Road, Cardiff have Sheffield Wednesday. It's an all London it's an off London derby between Arsenal and Spurs. Birmingham City have Newcastle United. Newport's uh, reward, I guess, for knocking out Manchester City is another Manchester United is another away tie to another Premier League side and number four top law team in Chelsea. It doesn't really get any easier for Newport, does it? And finally, Fulham will take on Manchester City in another Premier League tie at Old Light like Craven Cottage. My apologies. Well, it's fair to say the mood around Old Trafford is the sounding of one of pretty sombre atmosphere at the moment, with Manchester United hitting a real rock bottom low after suffering a loss to Newport County in the FA, like the Carabao Cup, my apologies. But I have to put that behind them now. It is less focus of uh, matches to focus on. That can always be a good thing in some warm disguise, but. Um, they have a company against a team that has certainly scored four goals in the league this season so far. Uh, West Ham, the lowest scoring team in the Premier League, despite Manuel Pellegrini's spending, it has been rather one of the surprises uh, considering that. But these are two teams that are feeling probably on a real downer at the moment. I we'll have to see if that translates into the match. Fabianski starts in goal for West Ham, Zabaleta is with Reed. Barbera and Creswell in the back four today. It's Mark Noble along with uh, Carlos Sanchez in the back midfield. The front midfield is Yamanko with Lanzini and Felipe Anderson with Perez up top. And Artemich only makes the bench today. Manchester United and Coach Park's mission is to seek a response. David De Gea, Ingol, Lindelof, Bai, and Chris Smalling are the uh, three at the back today with Zaha, Pogba, Sanchez, Fred and Zardes in the midfield today up top as always and probably should have been against Newport County Anthony Martial and Marcus Rashford uh, West Ham one of the lowest scoring teams in the league right now with just four and Manchester United already bombing forward and a goal for Zardes or Pogba I'm not sure which one I think it's Pogba yes it is there you go it's the response then from Coach Pump's team he scored within four minutes oh my and you just can't make this up. Paul Pogba has scored within minutes and he somehow got to that ahead of uh, Carlos Sanchez, I believe that is. And uh, he deserves that goal. And uh, that is probably exactly what Greg Parvich would have wanted. Pogba with his third goal of the league this season. And it puts United ahead within minutes. Within straight from the kickoff. West Ham already behind by a goal to nil. But they left a lot of their star strikers out for the majority of the night that night. And they responded from very early on as we like we go into half time here with a 1 0 lead for Manchester United away from home. It's crucial uh, to keep scoring those points away from home. Paul Pogba within minutes of the kickoff, giving United a very expended and very good lead uh, that relieved the grip, grip Parfitch's nerves somewhat. Going into the second half. West Ham nil, Manchester United 1. And Sanchez, great ball. Anderson's going to get there. He's going to put it in. Oh, it's a wonderful move. And Lucas finishes it with a header in the back of the net. A wonderful move. Carlos Sanchez in the first place with a great ball. No one at the back for United to cover him. And it was a great cross, and Lucas finished it with a great bullet header into the back of the net. Look at this ball. An instant cross there from Sanchez, wonderfully played, and Lucas open net to a degree. No one there for United at all. Smalley was nowhere near him. And uh, United, really, the masters of their own undoing in a way. Great goal by West Ham, though, give him credit. And uh, they've bought it level here. And uh, it's actually Lucas Perez, yes, formerly of Arsenal, I believe. 
So uh, it's one all here now. And uh, that's a great goal from West Ham, to be fair. Three is placed for Felipe Anderson. United absolutely nowhere chasing him. And headed in by Anatovic. 2-1. And Manchester United's defending was atrocious. And again, they don't catch out Felipe Anderson. He's allowed to run into any amount of space he wants. It's awful. It is absolutely awful. It's the same scenario that faced them at the uh, Lucas Perez goal. And uh, the rock-solid defence that Manchester United in the early part of the season is slowly disappearing. And David De Gea, who had a good couple of games, it appears that he's back to his uh, conceding ways again. And this is the first time this season that Manchester United have conceded more than one goal in a game. And uh, that's exactly what Memorial Pellegrini bought an Artemich on for. And United, something is going really wrong. And it looks like the shock at loss at Newport County has shook them up. Because something, something isn't right anymore. And, uh, well, we knew it would hit them. But it's hit them harder than they thought. And at four minutes of added on time, it looks all over here. And Manchester United are looking at a bit of a crisis at the moment. This will be two losses back to back for Bill Park, which for the first time this season. And that was almost a screamer. It's not enough. West Ham, another real kind of shock result as the great Manchester United that started the season is uh, starting to slip a little bit with their loss here today. And uh, they've got Juventus coming up, and that'll be a tough fixture. But it seems that uh, Group Park is just hitting a bit of a slippery slope with this team so far, and he's going to need time to recover. He's got Juventus coming up later in the week, so no rest for anything. And uh, West Ham here with the same real scenario as both goals were created by Felipe Anderson's great crosses from Lucas Perez and an Artemich. That means the early goal from Pogba five minutes in is completely cancelled out and West Ham have overturned a deficit here to win by three goals, two goals to one rather and something at Manchester United is going wrong so with a classified check on all the Premier League scores for the weekend while Greg Parfridge's season seems to be slipping a little bit Une Emery's season's picking up he's won again, 1-0 against Watford here and a 2-1 win to Everton and Goodison Park Spurs win again as well as Spurs seem to be rising really quickly and that puts them up to third in the table we'll have a look at it in a second Manchester City just absolutely unstoppable uh, once again so far this season as they've won seven in a row now with a 1-0 win against Brighton Newcastle and Leicester one all draw and finally uh, well almost finally actually my apologies these new fixtures and uh, tables I'm still getting used to Wolves win by two goals to one against Southampton Chelsea lose uh, the big one at the top against Liverpool and Cardiff lose to Burnley by two goals to nil. That means for the Premier League table, Manchester City, seven out of seven and no signs of slowing down. Full 21 points out of 21 as Manchester United's first loss of the season loses them further ground. And they're a point clear of Spurs in second and third place respectively. Everton go into the top four with uh, despite Liverpool winning at Chelsea today. Burnley with 6th, Chelsea 7th, Leicester 8th, uh, Leicester 8th, sorry. Uh, Chelsea 7th, Leicester 8th, Crystal Palace 9th and Bournemouth in 10th. Arsenal and Une Emery seem to be flying up the table all of a sudden. They are now up to 11th and hopefully his good run can continue. West Ham in 12th, Newcastle 13th with Wolves, Southampton, Watford and Brighton completing the 17 places of safety. At the bottom, it's Fulham. Cardiff and Huddersfield were pretty much the same bottom three as last week. Uh, with Huddersfield only one win out of seven and uh, have lost, have, uh, have pretty much lost all the rest. So no, even no draws for Huddersfield yet, just the one win out of seven and only three points.